Hey everyone, it's Colt. Let me just get this out of the way right now. I did say my next video would be on Webpack, but if you're watching this, clearly it's not. Uh, I have been recording the Webpack video over and over, like four and a half, five times, uh, and I scrap it each time because it's been too long. I keep cutting things down, reworking them, um, sort of redoing the code. So I am doing one more version. I'll be recording it tonight and editing it over the weekend, and it will be up next week, Monday or Tuesday. Um, so that is coming. This is just a short video, a very short one, probably the shortest video I'll ever post. Anyway, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. Uh, what else? If you hear a annoying background noise that sounds like someone slurping ramen noodles out of a bowl, that is my cat. I don't know when she started doing this, but she is the noisiest groomer I've ever heard. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Well, just one CSS property I had never heard of, personally. Um, I feel like I know a lot of CSS properties, including some of the more obscure ones. This is one that I actually just came across on Reddit. Uh, someone posted about it. Coincidentally, I was working on a project a few weeks ago where it would have been very useful. So let me just show you, uh, this is not the project. It's a very simple React app that I've set up in a code pen, but it indicates the, or it illustrates the problem. Here I have a slider that is controlling a number. And as I slide that slider value, the value here changes, but you can see that it's not taking up the same amount of space every time. The text that says million trillion dollars is being moved around and it just looks kind of glitchy or buggy. Uh, this also comes up if you're doing things with timers. If you have timers uh, that are, you know, counting seconds or milliseconds, uh, and those numbers are constantly changing, not all numbers take up the same amount of space. They are not necessarily equal width. Now, some fonts, monospace fonts, they're supposed to be equal width, uh, but a lot of fonts are not. So there is a way to force this or to prevent this from happening with CSS. What I started and what I did before I knew about this property I'm going to show you uh, was to just give this element a hard-coded width or a max width. So it's somewhere up here. Where are you? I'm using Bootstrap, by the way, just for some styles. If you don't know React, it doesn't really matter. I'll give it an ID of number. And then in the CSS panel, I'll select number and give it a width, I don't know, 160 pixels or something. Mm, not quite enough. Let's do 180. All right, so we end up with this weird space on this side because I haven't done it perfectly, but you can see now that this does work. It's not moving over the text, and it's annoying to make this responsive. If you want to have different screen sizes uh, or you want to support different screen sizes, then hard coding a width like that is not great. So that brings me to the property that somebody mentioned on Reddit. It's called font variant numeric. Now, maybe a lot of you, some of you, one of you have heard of this before. I've heard of font variant. I just have never uh, gone into font variant numeric, which font variant apparently is a shorthand that allows you to set numeric along with other font variants. Anyway, the thing that we care about is this right here, font variant numeric tabular nums. What this will do is tell all the numbers to be evenly spaced so it looks like this. And I no longer have to hard code that width. And you'll see that my numbers are not uh, shifting text around anymore. Things, they're not necessarily the exact same size, but the whole number group is the same size. So I don't end up with all this shifting text in an awkward experience for my user. So that's it. A very short video. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, it was something that I myself learned about and I thought, you know, this will be a nice little thing, especially since I said I was going to do the Webpack video that is coming, I promise. Uh, but I wanted to put something out this week. This is short and relevant to my life. So hopefully this was new to some of you. Maybe I'm just really late to the party. Uh, who knows? Okay. I'll see you next week with a Webpack video. I promise it's going to be good. I hope. And yeah, please like, subscribe, turn notifications on, do all that stuff. Preach to your entire family about my courses and my YouTube videos. And have a good day.